Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your love life reading. This is for singles and couples for September 2018. I want to start off by saying thank you so much to all of you who have liked, shared, subscribed, for everyone who took the time to comment, to send me messages, follow me on Instagram, wishing me happy birthday, those that sent me gifts. You guys are all so amazing. I just feel truly blessed. Thank you so much, Taurus. So, Let's get started. This is going to be your love life reading. I'm going to start with singles and then couples for the month of September 2018. What does Taurus have going on for them? September 2018. Taurus singles, straight up singles, not got nothing going on, trying to figure out what's blocking them, why they've been single for so long, not seeing anyone, not dating anyone. What's going on with Taurus singles in September 2018? Chemistry. So perhaps you meet someone new or you may have just met someone who you've got chemistry with. Yeah. And you think, hey, this one could be the one. I'm calling in my soulmate. If this is it, let him come to me. Him, her. Let me pull one more card. Oh, yeah. You are definitely meeting someone new, getting to know each other. You're feeling very, very connected to this person. If you haven't met them yet, they're about to come in in this month, September 2018. Let's see what's going to happen. Talk to me about single Tauruses who've probably been single for some time. Chemistry, calling in your soulmate and getting to know each other. you got so much going on. Maybe you were recently out of a long-term relationship and very quickly you met someone new. Wow. These kind of just flipped over. Oh, Taurus, if you were the cheater or somebody else cheated on you and you left a situation, you were upset, you were afraid of the way things were, you're on that path to healing, releasing yourself from that. Then you suddenly meet someone new, right? And then you realize, why the heck was I so hung up on that person? Why did I feel my life was over after that relationship? You meet someone new. There's major chemistry. You think this is your soulmate. When I think of my soulmate, this is who I've called in. And so you get to know each other. And the chemistry gets stronger. So let's see. Straight up single Tauruses. What is going on with you guys? Chemistry. Calling in your soulmate and getting to know each other. With the Ace of Swords, you feel like you can be straight up and honest with them about what you want for your future. You're not about hanging around and being stagnant and not sure. You've actually taken the time to really think about what it is you truly want as you look towards your future, making future plans, you've finally figured out your own personal truths. This is way too many cards. King of Cups, the Magician, and the Hermit in reverse. Okay. Perhaps if you were in a dark place for some time, isolated from everyone because of a breakup, you felt that there was a lot of of manipulation here. I mean, this is like heavy manipulation. If you were involved with a Virgo or perhaps a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio or these elements in their chart. The biggest thing I feel here is that that manipulations that took over for quite some time were really harsh. Lying, cheating, manipulating. Gaslighting is what I'm sensing. Making it seem like they did or you did. This could be both ways. Remember, this is a general reading. Making it seem, if this was them to you, they blamed you for their toxic behavior, their bad behavior. Well, if you weren't this or if you were that, I wouldn't have had to do this, this, and that. You could be doing that as well. You could be turning the other person's good intentions and manipulate the situation to suit your selfish needs 
whether this is you or your partner, whoever it was in the past. And it's taken some time to move away from that. So let's get going. Chemistry. You've got chemistry with this person. You feel comfortable enough to tell them the truth. Be honest with them. You've gotten to a point where you know. Mm, you, even, you even shared secrets. You probably met someone new and they're like, how is it that you're single or why have you been single? Well, I fucked up. This is what I did. But I've had some time to think about what it is I truly want for my future. And so now I know I'm not going to repeat the same mistakes I did in the past. This could be you, Taurus. This could be, this could be the person you left. And so now here it is. You've got chemistry with someone. You straight up said, you know what? I've been through some fucked up relationships, some fucked up shits. Part of it was my fault. None of it was my fault. All of it was my fault. Although you may have felt stagnant and unable to move forward, the plans for the future were consistent. You always knew what you wanted for the future. So with this new person that you're feeling chemistry with, you pretty much just lay your cards out on the table and say, fuck it, if this person bites, if they want to keep going, if they want to, if they want to be with me, if they want to date me, they want to get to know me better after everything I've done, then I'm, I'm all in. Let's do it. You feel comfortable enough where you know this person isn't going to run when you, when you let them in on the type of behavior you were indulging in. Maybe something you weren't proud of as well. Because I, the, the consistency here I keep hearing, I keep feeling is everything I was doing, no matter what, I was still planning for my future. I still knew that this is what I wanted or this wasn't what I wanted for my future. And so now I've got to move forward. I fucked up, they fucked up, we both fucked up, whatever it is. And this is for you straight up singles who finally meet someone who feel like, you know what? Yeah, you want to know why I was single? This is why. Take it or leave it. I fucked up. I acknowledge it. Not going to do it again. The right person comes in. I'm all in. Right? Because the right person comes in. You call in your soulmate and you're all about moving forward. Look at that. You're all about moving forward. And so now you have a choice to make. Now that you've really thought about the situation at hand, the plans for your future, and maybe part of those plans once you became single and you were single for quite some time were plans about your future as a single person, except now you've crossed paths with someone who you feel could be your soulmate. And you want that passionate new beginning, not only in your personal life with this person in your love life, but, you know, in your career, maybe you go back to school, maybe you have something new to start, you've really taken the time to think about, with the hanged man and the four of swords, that tells me, you have thought about what your next step is, your next move is, what to do next, where do I go from here, and this could be a king of swords, or it turns into, or you turn into, this King of Swords energy, who very calmly will cut out the bullshit because you've already been there, done that, and you're not going to do it again. So this new person comes in and you finally feel strong enough, strong enough to feel vulnerable enough with them. Remember, vulnerability does not signify weakness. Vulnerability shows strength and courage that you are willing to allow someone to see that side of you. And you're strong enough to open up, get to know this new person that comes in, and you're ready. King of Wands reverse. So if you were with a fire sign, or this is a fire sign, Perhaps as you get to know one another, this new person, the old person comes back in. Because you've got a lot of kings here. You've got a king of swords. 
and a king of wands only the king of wands is in reverse you have more than one option as you get to know these people i feel as though perhaps the king of wands may have been your ex who comes back in once they see you in a better place with someone new and they come back and they want to say hey what you have going on with them that's what i wanted for us why him why her and not me what's going on and it brings back that burden of the past and it begins to cause an imbalance and confusion but again, you've taken a lot of time for yourself to really think about what you want to do. You've opened up to this new person or you're thinking of opening up to this new person. Or you've met someone who's just opened up to you and you feel so comfortable with them that you're like, you know what? This is going somewhere. Do not let the confusion and the stagnancy from the past stop you from moving forward with who you really and truly want to move forward with. This isn't over is what I keep hearing. This isn't over. And you're like, oh, yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, it is. I'm moving on. I know I fucked up. I know I hurt you. Or vice versa. You hurt me. You fucked up. And, and see that sunshine in the background? That's where I'm headed towards. Not through the bullshit of the past, but towards that happy sunshine future so be careful Taurus if you've been single for some time and an ex comes back in trying to rain on your parade protect yourself if you need to heal from this situation if you need to explain to the new person that I'm still healing from this situation do what you got to do Take care of yourself. Don't bring the problems of the past into your present and future. I just, I keep hearing this isn't over. I feel the need to continue pulling cards for you, single Tauruses. What is going on? Wow, what is going on is right. These cards are going crazy. With the magician in reverse that flew out and the seven of swords. Okay, look. The magician flew out in reverse and the seven of swords. So this manipulator from the past comes back in and tries to manipulate their way back in. But it's only to suit their own needs. They don't want to see you happy. Okay? It's only for them to come in and try to say, hey, no, you know what? You couldn't make it work with me. You don't deserve to be happy with anyone. Yet you guys weren't happy together. Is that logical? Does that make sense? No. No, anger, resentment, bitterness, hatred, pain, hurt, whatever you want to call it. The shit from the past that has been manifesting and brewing and festering is what destroys. If you don't heal, it's what destroys present and future relationships. So if you are over this past relationship... Do not stop healing because you met someone new. Do not stop the healing process. Get the closure that you need. Drop them like a bad habit and keep moving forward. Now, if you want to fix this with them, you will get to a point where you realize, why am I going back? I met this great new person that I don't have drama with that I don't feel like I need to lie to them, that I don't feel like I need to hide things from them. This relationship from the past feels very, very heavy, manipulative, a lot of deceit, lying, I mean, a lot of arguing, emotionally drained energy is how I'm feeling. This is a toxic relationship from your past that it's time for you to let go of. You need to continue healing. And if you need to tell this new person that comes in, hey, I'm still in the healing process. I'm still trying to, you know, clear away this toxic energy from my past. I'm sorry if, you know, 
we got problems from my ex. This is a situation. Or Taurus, it could be you. Who sees their ex moving on, doing better, feeling better about a new relationship, looking happier than they did with you. And you can't let them go. And there you go, trying to be like, no, no, no. We could, ha we could have had that too. Stop blaming. Stop throwing blame. Stop throwing shade. Stop trying to fuck each other over. Are you going to be happy by ruining their life? Or is it because you want another chance with them? Because that judgment card, you're like, I want to do over. I want to make it work with you. But do you really? Or is it about control and manipulation? Doing things your way. Again, I keep hearing this isn't over. There will be some very heavy and harsh communication. And in the end, someone will get cut out. Will you be cutting someone out or will you be the one that gets cut out? All right, single Tauruses, you've got too many players in this situation. You know that there is someone here that you have a great connection with. But you have too many toxic and negative energies from your past that don't want you to move forward in any way. They will fight you tooth and nail to the point where they fight you to make this shit go away. And then you really think about it and you think, well, let me go back to what I know. Comfort. But comfort and toxicity is codependency. It's codependent relationship. It's not good for you. You know that you'll just go back to fighting and hurting each other. Winning at all costs. You don't give a shit. You're going to cut them down. That's the real, that's the real part of it. I'm telling you, Taurus, right now, the message keeps telling me, keep getting cards. I am not done with this message. This isn't over. A couple more cards before I move on to the couples. If you were in a relationship when I did the readings last month and now you're looking at the singles reading. Yeah. So you take the time to go within and to really evaluate all this confusion. Knight of Wands, Three of Cups. Yeah, there's too many people involved here. <sighs> Too many people trying to get involved here, making decisions that don't concern them. You've had to take one too many breaks to get away from these people. These, they feel as though you in the past, what I'm getting is in the past, you've given them too many liberties with your life. You have allowed them to make life-changing deci decisions on your behalf. What they said goes. And perhaps you've been broken up for some time, but they feel as though they can still tell you what to do. They feel as though they still hold that power. They feel as though they will always have a say in your life. They know how to manipulate you or you them. Take your pick, Taurus. Is this you behaving this way with someone else or is someone else behaving this way with you? You've got too many players in this situation for someone who's single. And I feel as though you've been trying to get away from all of that from the past. And the minute you want to move forward, they all come rushing in to try to fuck things up. Anyway, let's close out this reading for you single Tauruses. A word of advice, love, oracle for single Taurus. True love. 
This love is a once in a lifetime love. So you've got chemistry, you're calling in your soulmate, you're getting to know each other. Then these stupid people from the past who didn't respect your boundaries, but at the same time, you were a little flexible with those boundaries. It's time you freaking put cement blocks on those boundaries and you don't let them come through. If you want something to manifest with this soulmate, with this true love, it's time to put your foot down. Don't let them come barging in. This is your life, your relationship, your happiness. What you say goes, not them. If this relationship with the other people is truly over, make sure they know that. Make sure they respect your boundaries, your partner, your new relationship when you are there. Or you will always catch grief for that. Okay, so that was your reading, single Taurus. I'm going to move on to couples. So, single Tauruses, if you're not going to stick around for the couples reading, I'm inviting you to please like, share, and subscribe. Let me know if this resonates. If you'd like a personal reading, you can find my information in the description box below. You can also find me on Instagram where I do daily posts and weekly live readings. Okay, so let me know. All right, let me move on to couples and exclusively dating, married, and maybe some of you who have just started dating, so you're not quite single, you in-betweeners, in between a couple different relationships, partnerships, potentials. Let's get to it. right away you deserve love for some of you in-betweeners that are trying to get out of this current situation to move on into a more loving and stable and consistent relationship you may have been flirting with someone new someone who's your new potential partner as you break away from the issues from the past because you finally got to a point where you said you know what Forget all these people that have been, you know, affecting me in a negative way. I deserve love. I am lovable. And as you start healing from that, and you're flirting with someone new, you're getting to know someone, you extend your lighthearted energy to others. And there's also an opportunity for reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So another situation here, another example of... The singles and the couples blending together. I think I should just do one love reading all together. So what I'm feeling here is that the singles reading has a lot to do with this. For those of you that you've been single for some time, met someone new, started dating someone, and yet these people from the past come back in, think that they have a right to say or do something in your life, have decisions that they can make for you. Because maybe you're a baby daddy, maybe you're a baby mama. And you know, they use the children or you use the children, whatever it may be. Maybe you've got bills together, investments together, a house together. So here it is, couples and dating. You deserve love, flirt, and reconciliation. And the reason why I say this kind of goes with the singles reading is because I really felt as though the singles, <clears throat> the, with the singles reading, as you meet someone new, as you start opening up to someone new people from the past come in and say no you know i asked you for this when we were together and you couldn't give it to me and now i'm not going to let someone else have what i wanted from you and so this reconciliation doesn't mean that you're going to fix things with them to work things out it can for some of you but a lot has to do with Making peace with this person from the past. Releasing yourself from whatever responsibilities that this person kept trying to 
involve you in that probably had nothing to do with you. So here it is. Let's clarify this. Let's get into your reading couples. You deserve love, flirt, and reconciliation. It's time to release the past is what I'm feeling for some of you. I, I really don't feel as though many of you aren't trying to reconcile with someone from the past. I really feel as though the reconciliation is to make peace with it, heal from it, and say, look, I've met someone new. You've got to respect that because I'm moving forward with them. Or you can be hearing that from your ex. And so at some point, you make peace with it. You both go your separate ways, and that's just life. you got to heal from it. You have to learn from it so that you, too, can end up in a loving relationship in the long run. Here we go. Clarify you deserve love. And now the magician is upright. And temperance. You've got two major arcanas. So with the you deserve love, look at that. Ace of swords. This is too many cards. I will show them to you. Ace of swords. Three of pentacles. Five of Cups and Two of Pentacles. So again, whether this is you, Taurus, or someone from your past, because these are general energies, they can go vice versa. Whether you finally admitted it to a partner or an ex, that yes, this was a third party situation. Yes, I'm sorry for what I did. I was fucking around with more than one person. Or they tell you, the truth is, yeah, I was seeing someone else behind your back. I was juggling more than one relationship here. I was being greedy and selfish and I did whatever the fuck I wanted. And I knew that even though it was going to hurt you and even though I loved you, I couldn't help myself and I'm sorry. Yeah, for quite a few of you, there, this was a cheating scenario, more than one person I don't feel as though all of you feel remorseful. However, it did cause you to face your behavior to move forward. You had to admit to yourself the type of behavior you were engaging in. And it calls for some healing. You deserve love. The reason why you got to this point of you deserve love if you were in a cheating scenario, in a third party scenario, there were lies and manipulations. There were deceit. Trying to move in quickly, trying to step out so slowly, trying to, I mean, you manipulated the situation to your benefit, whether this was you or your partner or an ex-partner, someone that could have been involved in the past. You've had to really slow down your approach when it came to healing from this. But on the positive side, you just woke up one day and said, you know what? This is not who I am. This is not the path that I want to be in. I deserve love. I'm lovable. Why am I screwing this up? Why are they doing this to me? Why am I doing this to them? Because everything was kind of 50-50. You were like one foot in, one foot out. You weren't quite sure how you were going to move forward. You weren't quite sure whether or not this was what you wanted. And so for one minute, yes, I want to be in a serious relationship. The next minute, it was like, you know what? I need to be single. I can't be with this person. However, you didn't break up with them. You just acted single. Or vice versa. This was happening to you. And this is what you've been healing from. Where you finally said, you know what? I deserve love. I'm going to create this future that I want for myself. And I'm going to take my time. Because healing doesn't happen overnight. And so this new person that comes in or is about to come in for some of you. Is someone who... I can see myself with. Granted, you're still healing from this situation. Look at that. You're still healing. It still keeps you up at night. There's still some negative energy surrounding it. That's your card, the Hierophant. Whether it was you or someone else who really, 
at some point wanted a non-traditional relationship is now coming in saying no I do want a traditional relationship I want something that's consistent and loving and pure and true because the way I was in this other relationship the way I was in this other relationship only brought me nightmares brought me to tears You're strong enough to face your mistakes and move forward. You're strong enough to empower yourself for a new beginning. Nothing, I mean, you've got two cards. That's it. Two cards that are not major arcanas. So for you Taurus couples, there is a new beginning coming in. You are probably already dating someone that you're very interested in. You are still healing from the past. You're not quite sure how to move forward because these people from the past have caused you so many nightmares. You've lost almost like a part of yourself, a sense of self. You know what you want. You know what you, how you want to move forward. And because you suffered so much and you were in so much pain, you didn't feel strong enough at that time to take that leap of faith to really start something new. But there's a lot of healing and a lot of strength and clarity and empowerment that happens for you Taurus couples. In the month of September, you've already known the answers all along. And so the reconciliation for a lot of you is with yourself and being okay with the mistakes from your past and being okay from releasing yourself from them and moving forward towards something that you really truly want, finding balance. Page of Wands, you will be communicating what it is that you want and what it is that you don't want from these people from the past when you come to this point of reconciliation. Always remember that you deserve love, Taurus. I feel as though some of you Tauruses may have been the manipulator here. Whether you were feeling down about your actions, guilt, remorse, at some point, maybe you thought, I don't deserve this person. I don't deserve love. Yes, you do. You may have just been in the wrong relationship. Okay. So you stop fighting. Five of Swords, you've surrendered. You've said, you know what? Enough is enough. We get nowhere when we fight. I'm going to make peace with this situation. What you do from here on out, it's on you. But I'm letting this go. I've reconciled with the way things have ended up, the way things are. I'm done. I'm good. No worries. No big deal. You do you. I'm doing me. But I'm not going to worry about this bullshit from the past anymore. I'm done. I'm done. You release yourself. You continue healing. You stop fighting it. You stop fighting the healing. You stop fighting with this person because at the end there's no resolution until you stop fighting there is a sense that you do need to heal from this so let me pull a heal yourself card here taurus couples heal yourself before i close out this reading and i pull a love oracle so let's see <laughs> Take off your mask, Taurus. And that is the master number 11. So this is a significant sign for you that you for quite some time were not your authentic self. You were not being you. You were holding who you truly were. You were holding back from evolving to make others happy. If there was a codependency here, you went along with what others said because you didn't want to make waves. You, I really feel as though you were under someone else's control. You feared their wrath. 
but you've came to this point of feeling strong enough to take your mask off and say, no, I'm not who you want me to be. I am who I am and I'm moving forward. So the more you heal and you uncover who you truly are and you live your life unapologetically being this person that you are, being strong enough, being loving, being whatever it is that you've been holding back on, the better you feel about yourself, the better you reconcile with yourself and you let go of the situation from the past that's been holding you back so that you can move forward, that, so that you can get that love that you so deserve. And look at that, new love. Embrace this new opportunity of love that is here. This may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual growth. So you do have some big changes here. Big, huge changes, right? For some of you that have just started seeing someone, this is a new love and you finally said, you know what, I need to reconcile from the issues from the past. I need to reconcile with my ex, fix things, let them go, let them do whatever it is that they need to do to move forward so that I can move forward. And I'm going to admit, this is who I am. I've held back for quite some time. What I got from some of you is that you're coming out of the closet. For some of you that have been holding back, who perhaps were in a heterosexual relationship and then you finally feel comfortable and free and strong enough to come out and say, you know what, this is who I truly am. I'm not going to be in a relationship that is not for me to make others happy because that's what we do in my family. That's what we do in you know our circle of friends or that's what society wants. I've met someone new or I'm evolving and I'm becoming the person that I am meant to be and that is who you reconcile with, who you fall in love with so that you realize that the real you, the true you deserves love. So that was your reading, Taurus. I hope this resonated with some of you. Please like, share, and subscribe if it did for personal readings. My information is in the description box below. Make sure you hit the bell when you subscribe so you get notified of when I go live, when I upload videos. Again, thank you so much for all your support. I absolutely appreciate it. Don't forget, please like, share, and subscribe. Talk to you later, Taurus. Bye.